Welcome back everybody. I know it's been quite a while since my last video, but today we're going to take care of this urban worm bag and the African Nightcrawlers. They will be receiving another shredder full of paper and cardboard, and then right here I have some food scraps from my freezer that have been accumulating over the last few months. We have coffee, a paper towel that I used to clean up the counter, and then this piece of cardboard as well. So let's go ahead and take a look in this bin. Let me just get you up on the stand here. So it's been a good two months since the last time you guys saw this urban worm bag. And I saw it last a week ago. I snuck in here and put in a half a yellow squash somewhere in that corner over there. I didn't go through the bin, I just stuck it in there just to hold them over. I haven't been very attentive to my worms lately, but hopefully that will change. So let's go ahead and see what we have in here. I think last time, if I remember correctly, we put in a watermelon or half a watermelon or a personal sized watermelon, something like that. And what I'm seeing is that we lost that temperature gauge. So let's see if we can find it. Oh, there we go. It's hidden. I think when the watermelon was disappearing, the temperature gauge just kind of fell inward where the watermelon was taking up the space and there's a lot of baby worms on this thermometer here. So let's move that off to the side and let's see what we can find and get, get everything mixed up in here. Not a lot of paper left from that last shredder full that they got. Oh, there's a paper towel. Let's rip that apart here as well. And let's see if we can find that squash. Is this part of it? Probably. Just some few little pieces there. And there shouldn't be anything else in here. I think we'll get a good mix now. Aerate it out. And even after two months, since this bag is kind of like a breathable material. Oh, look at that pumpkin stem here. Hello to you. I forgot about you, but look, it's falling apart there. We put this in here probably like a month after Halloween. And you can see that baby worms have made their way inside. So the top of it is nice and soft and breaking apart. This worm is really in there. He's sticking his head in there. But this part's still hard. So we got about halfway. That's good. Okay, let's make some room in the middle. See, there's a shredded paper that's clumping together. So let's try to break that apart as well. We're not going to see a lot of worms gathering in one area because I'm pretty sure that they have been wandering about. And what I was saying about the bag, that it's kind of a breathable material. And what's surprising is that after two months of not really adding any scraps or any water, that the material is not dry. It's actually a good moisture. So I'm really happy to see that. This was a little too thick to go in my shredder, so we'll just place it here. I will pour all the food scraps right on top. Actually, let's pour a little bit of that paper from the shredder on here. So maybe do like a half and half kind of deal. Oh, dusty. Let's spread that around. Water the cardboard at the same time. Kind of using my hand as a little beard to spread it around and it's so it's not falling into one area. Perfect. And now let's start adding in all the food scraps that we have for today. So the center of the celery. We'll throw in this paper towel, some collard greens, and the whole rest of that bag. Oh, we got a whole avocado in here. 
I didn't even puncture it, so we'll see how that does in here. Half a banana that browned on me. I should have used that to make some banana bread. And I'm sure the worms will enjoy it just as much. And then just some stems from some greens as well. So lots of greens, some kiwi peels, carrot peels, celery. So it looks good. As this food defrosts, it'll definitely give this bin some moisture as well. And then this whole bowl of coffee, some of it is already molding on the bottom. It's been sitting on my counter for at least four days, I want to say five days. We'll spread that around a little bit. And then we'll finish off the rest of this grit in this container. And then I'll have to make a new batch. So let's just sprinkle the whole thing out. And now let's dump in the rest of that shredded paper and cardboard from the shredder here. Looks like a few post-it notes got shredded in here as well with that pink color and orange. And this is my last year's health card and it looks like this will not decompose so we'll take that out and i'll run it through the shredder again it doesn't even look like it shredded properly so we'll move that off to the side and i'll run it through the shredder again and then i'll remove it immediately so the worms do not get that next time i decide to dump the shredder in here beautiful now let's add some water So let me know how you guys are doing. It's been a little bit. How's the weather? We're preparing for a snowstorm here, so we'll see how that goes this time around. So let me know how you guys are doing. Waiting for the spring to come, or maybe it's already warm where you're at. I'm jealous for those people. <laughs> They're already enjoying the warmth. It's like we're getting a snowstorm and these worms are getting a rain shower. I think that will do it. That's plenty for this so time. That completes the feeding for these African night crawlers in the urban worm bag. They made it two months without me. They're probably like, yay, finally, food, cardboard, paper, <laughs> and coffee. So. I'm glad to make the worms happy, and I will see you guys next time. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.